hello and welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be doing this look which is a cool toned silver sparkly metallic -y, dark eye smoky eye so i hope you enjoy it here's how i did it um so yeah let's get started i'm going to use this Makeup Revolution palette. I've mentioned them a lot and they're really, really, really well priced and they blend nicely. And that when you pick up the pigment, there's a lot, it's not just patchy, it's really, really good. If you don't want to spend fortunes, Makeup Revolution. I use the foundation. I use the eyebrow pencil, I use the concealer, I use the highlighters, I use everything. I'm just going to start with a soft transition colour, just mix between those two. With the huge, I have done my skin already, I've used this Rimmel Wake Me Up when the coronavirus is over. Um, I have spoken about it before. I do like it, but it does move around on my skin throughout the day. I think if you have a particularly dry skin, it could work quite nicely for you. So I'm just using those two light browns in the middle in my crease. Just so we have something to work with when we start going in with the darker colours. I mean, these just blend so nicely. You don't need to pick up that much product. And I have here, apparently, you are now allowed to buy makeup, which to me has always been essential, so I don't understand why we were never allowed before. But it's very exciting. Not that I've been to buy anything yet, but I think I need to rectify that very soon. So I'm going to be just doing this pretty quickly so you can see it's not that difficult and it doesn't take you hours and hours and hours. Um, now with a different brush, I am going to take this, oh, now you can see all my foundation. I'm going to take this colour here. It looks pretty grey but in person it does have a bit of a brown undertone to it which is fine and then this is a Morphe brush and then just over that just a little bit below the crease we're going to bring that in and blend it out so when we put that silver colour there isn't a hard contrast between the two which when you are working with darker colours like this obviously isn't as important because there's no way that you can blend where it just flawlessly flows into your skin. So when it comes to doing um, like black or dark eyes it doesn't actually matter if it's not perfect the blending but we like to get as close as we can. Just going in to fix this here. I told you guys before this, so oh, it's very problematic. There we go. And then just the other side, the same. Just blend that nicely backwards and forwards, the windscreen wipers. I mean, even this is just like a smoky eye, is really nice as well. Yes. And then I'm going to go in with, which brush am I going in with? This one. And we are going to use finally silver. And we're just going to 
pack that product product pigment shimmer try to tap off as much as you can before you apply I never do this kind of makeup when I go out and surprisingly like when I do weddings or just someone's makeup if they're going out a lot of people do ask for like a grey or a silver eye and obviously because I never do it I'm like oh why but then it actually always does turn out pretty nicely you can see how the um shimmer pigments really actually pretty good and then obviously the same on the other eye and then I'm going to also just take this is just the NARS shadow in Himalaya. It's quite pretty. It's a bit more gold, I think. Just in the inner corner. Yes. I don't know if you can see, but it does anything. Okay. And then also. This is Urban Decay Heavy Metal. It's just glitter. Love these. But the one colour, it's like a rosy goldy colour that I, or in the black that I always want. They always sell that. Just gonna paint that on the lid. Literally just straight on. Just to give it an extra bit of shimmer. Especially at night if you go out. And then the light catches the glitter. I mean, even this difference you can see, it's so nice. Is it a vibe? I think it is a vibe. It's not a lot of glitter. But they are the reflex and you can see it really nicely in the light depending which way you look. It does for some reason feel weird while it's drying. It's not like it burns but you can feel that it's there. I don't know why. And then for underneath the eye I'm going back in with this dark color that we did the crease with just for underneath with my pencil brush try keeping the mouth closed which I'm not sure is very possible for me I mean, I do find when I open my mouth, it just like stretches that skin, so it's not as, I don't know, like it just pulls it tight. And then I'm just going to take that Urban Decay glitter again and just add a bit more just as like an inner corner highlight. Just take it underneath a little even up I mean I definitely do this going out I'd probably wear this in a day but obviously I mean it's a lot of makeup not really I mean you can see I barely use much and you can see how quick it took as well I might have taken this a bit too low, but who cares? Okay, and then eyeliner. I'm just going to take 
a liner brush and black eyeshadow and just get in to as close as the lash line as I can pushing that shadow in Just give a bit of a smoky eye rather than the same liquid liner all the time, something different. You can even take the black, black glitter, just add a bit more sparkle. Again, maybe do your foundation afterwards. And maybe let's just blend here a bit more. Just gonna go over this black again. I do want to make it quite defined, just so it does define your eye nicely. Even take it underneath a bit just to define that bottom bit too. You can see, makes quite a nice difference. I always find when it comes to line to hold my mirror down and to look down so it's almost like your eyes closed instead of looking straight when you're doing it and you can't really see it makes a massive difference to hold it down and then you can see what you're doing and the shape of your eye as well And then just a little underneath. You don't want like Cleopatra vibes, but that could be a nice video to do. Mm -mm. So I have these mascaras here, which supposedly I love. This is Benefit Bang Bang, which I do like, but I don't actually use it. And then there's Urban Decay Perversion, just the mini one. And then Tarte, Tartiest. And then also Bad Girl Lash Benefit. So this is the Benefit Bad Girl Lash, which technically this is my favorite big bath brush that I like. Tarte. Not my favorite kind of brush. I don't normally go for these. Um, Perversion also has quite a nice brush. I think. Yep. Yeah. And then this bad girl lash, which is actually really, really nice. Also, this kind of brush, which I don't normally go for. But it does tend to work really well. So I think I'm going to do this bad girl lash benefit first and see how it goes. And then we can do the other one on top. And just order it backwards and forwards to coat the lashes properly. I mean, especially with a dark eye, you do want the lashes to stand out quite a bit. It just finishes it off nicely. You could do lashes with this if you wanted. I mean, it's not terrible. I don't know why I don't use these more. Sometimes I do like to let it dry and then come back because it does seem to add like an extra layer to work with. I mean, it's not terrible. I don't know why. I just leave them lying around. I have so many mascaras and I always just go and use the same ones. And then I'm just going to go back.
Mm -hmm. Oh no. So we had a bit of an accident. But as I said, it is better to let it dry because then it's easier to just brush away. But because we have used some dark colors, can just blend it in. And it goes away. Kind of. Even though sometimes I always like to go back and just blend a little bit more. Okay, so now let's try this. Bad girl, bad gal, bang bang. I mean, when this mascara came out, I remember everyone went mad about it. And it does actually make your lashes super long and like coats each one individually. But I like fat, clumpy lashes. You can see how long it makes them. try to use this one on my bottom lashes as well the only reason i always use that mac one is because i know that when i'm out it doesn't transfer to this bottom area if i sweat it doesn't go anywhere it stays put i know it works well for me but i do occasionally like to try and um use other um, mascaras so let's see what this looks like on my bottom lashes I don't hate it I ain't mad I think it could be interesting to see how it lasts wearing this in a day. Okay, I mean, how quick was that? Maybe a bit of a look we can add, just a gloss. This is the Stila, Stila in Golden Parachute, which I really love. It does have, it does have a few like gold reflex in the glass so also and yeah that's it ready to go i mean how quick was that obviously the more you do it the quicker it will go but done thank you for watching please do what you gotta do tell me if you enjoyed it and yeah i'll see you soon